Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Summer is here. Something else arrived. I finally got hold of wooden fake eggs and I'm going to replace them with the uh, I'm going to replace the hollow plastic eggs with this beautiful solid wooden eggs okay I've just laid two four six eight wooden eggs and I'm going to remove the plastic hollow ones and we can see what the chicks do with this. I'm not so keen for any of them to be broody right now, but uh, let's get the process going. The six chicks are still alive and well. <coughs> I have to clean their water so many times a day, so I raised it and uh, it's still full of uh, scratchings so I then placed a piece of wood there that they can at least reach it the smaller ones let's see the ducklings are all well they are slowly getting feathers much slower than the chicks. They also now start approaching me when I, they see me thinking I bring something. And then Mr. and Mrs. Duck 31 days to go lady The irrigation pipe, the main supply line, is underground. The first thing I have to do is to tighten this area with this snazzy tool. Okay, done. Old age doesn't bring much except a little bit of wisdom not to cover something unless you have tested it at least three times. It is wet, moist around it, so it was good to have it open and tighten it again. Then to cover this pipe is another task. I tried the rake but there are so many tufts of grass that I rake nothing. And then I put the excavator in here. Sometimes it plows deep, sometimes nothing at all. So this is also a failure. And now I'm working with a few concepts in my mind. I'm not going to do this by hand. I'm going to use a machine. It's too hot and too dry. We have done about uh, 100 meters. Another 150 meters to go. Slowly. Going uphill towards the water tanks at the highest point on the land. And uh, it's not fun to walk in this area because there are so many seeds, very pointy seeds, getting into your socks and your shoes. I already have a compost heap 
in my uh, lounge every time I set to clean it. Okay, my engineering feet. Um, I'm always amazed how long it takes for me to process something in my mind. But um, once I've done it, I'm happy with it. This is water from the cistern, water from the pozo, from the borehole, the well. This one has a non-return valve. This one as well, but not here. Now I can pump water, let's say from the well, <coughs> and it can either go to the tank, if I open here, or it can go to that tank, if I open here. So, for the first time I can pump to two places, from two places, so two different pumps, two different destinations. I had a device here that one uses for photography to see the reflection of light and uh, the reflection of light I don't know if this is only for agriculture or what, but it's called albedo, A-L-B-E-D-O, and it's from 0 to 10 or from 0 to 100, depends on the scale. I thought I will have a high factor here of reflection of light. But these grasses, they absorb 70% of the light and reflect only 30. Then I started asking, but it's good for me to have light reflected and not absorbed. And the only way I can do that is to have more brightly colored mulch but that has also a problem it reflects the light it can actually burn some plants especially the fruit that usually hangs in places where it is protected from light from the top Then, I, this one is not happy, I must water again. Then I realize one can actually start planting light colored plants that reflects light. But that's a whole new ball game. I will have to look into that. So the albedo of this farm is quite low. Very little uh, reflection of light. High on absorption of light. Therefore heat. Therefore evaporation. Till next time, goodbye.